Hello everyone. Welcome to this video. This is the next installment in a video series regarding web development. In this video we'll actually go over the the uh, technology HTML and how to build HTML documents to create your website. As we said in the previous video, HTML is an acronym for Hypertext Markup Language. Let's go ahead and get started. In this one, the first thing I'd like to go over with is um, basic use of HTML code. Okay? This will be the code that you will use on your HTML document for building your website. What I want you to understand is, is that for HTML code, no matter which version of HTML we'll be using, whether it's uh, version 4 or the new one, as of 2019, which is version 5, you're going to be using the code known as tags. All right. Now, what we mean by tags is, is that this is how it starts. It starts with a less than sign and it ends with a greater than sign. And then in between that, you'll have the tag name. There's the uh, paragraph tag. And then with the paragraph tag, you'll have an opening tag which is what we just created then you'll have a closing tag which is forward slash P for paragraph and then we close it so you have the opening tag which is this one here and then you have the closing tag and then in between the tags is what you is the content that you want uh, displayed on your browser. So for a paragraph tag, you would just type in either a sentence or paragraph. Once I learn how to type, okay. That's it for that. And then there are many more tags out there. There's the paragraph tag. There's the um, there's the bold tag, which starts with an open and close tag. Now that one is deprecated, uh, meaning that it's old and we really don't use it. But that's okay. There's also in its place the strong tag. All right, that's a opening strong tag. And this is the opening close tag. There's also the italics tag. And I forget if there's a new a new version of that. There's also the underlining tag. There's the new line tag, which is for BR. That one does not require a close tag that one stands alone and then there's a horizontal line tag I don't think that one as well needs a, a uh, open and close tag alright but for you to just so you realize these are these are this is the type of code that you will use for your HTML document now you also want to keep this in mind for when you're doing your tags most of the tags, with the exception of a few, like the HR and the BR tags, most of them will start with an open and a closed tag. That's all. That's basically all you need to realize. Other than that, you'll have your tags that start with an attribute. Okay, like we'll go over the anchor tag, which, which is what you use to make your links, and that's just a. Oops, sorry. I gotta take off the cap locks is A and then R E E F and then equals and then you have double quotes and then you'll have um, whatever your uh, your link is it always needs to start with the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and then whatever your link is as an example google.com and then for um, for for newer technologies or newer days they'll use a slash I'm sorry the slash is at the end and then you'll close it and then you'll put in 
the, the, the word that you want to reference for the website so that the website can see it. And it'll just be either google.com or just Google if you wanted to. And then you close that tag with a minus A. Okay? So you start off with A, H reference, and then an equal sign. And then anything after the equal sign is considered an attribute. Okay? So this is considered the attribute. And then you would close it. And then you would put in the name of the link that you want everybody to go to. It And this doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be google.com. It could just be Google. Okay? And then that's how you do that. The only other thing I want you to realize is, is that to use these open and closed tags, you'll want to remember the acronym uh, FIFO. F-I-F-O. And that's the acronym that stands for first in first out meaning and you can you can uh, nest these tags together right you can do a paragraph tag right and then you can do a close paragraph tag okay and then your content will go in the middle. This is for my bold sentence. All right. So that's what you got here. The first tag, whichever is the first tag in, will be the last tag out. Okay. So I guess that's Philo. But in either case, the, 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 this is how we explain it. So you got the first tag which is P and then that'll be the last tag right and so since this is the P tag it's the first tag in it'll be the first tag out alright and then other than that you got the next tag tag which is strong and then you close that tag I hope I explained that um, to where you can understand it just remember those few things, those few rules, and that should help you build whatever you want for your HTML document, okay? Now, let's go ahead and go to the HTML document. It's going to have a lot of code in it. Please don't be intimidated. I will include this code or a link to this code in the uh, description below. Um, but let's go ahead and look at it. So, this is our document. This is our HTML document. Now, let me see if I can make it a little bigger. There we go. Maybe a little bit more. All right. So, this is our HTML document. Let's go over the tags that you will use in the basic HTML document. Okay, so the first tag here is a document uh, tag. This just tells the browser what type of uh, HTML version we are using. And as of 2019, this would be the tag you would use for HTML document. It, it, it denotes uh, the HTML version. This is for HTML version 5. You need to include that with all of your web browsers, with all of your uh, HTML documents. Okay. And then we'll have here, we'll start with the opening tag for HTML. And I don't want to confuse you, but this is the opening tag. And then if we scroll all the way down, this is the closing tag. Okay. So the HTML tag is the one that you need to start with an open tag and a close tag. And then in the next one, you have what is known as the head tag. This is the opening of the head tag. This is the closing of the head tag. All right. And then in between there, you have the title tag. This is the opening of the title tag. And this is the closing of the title tag. Now, this right here, this is what you put in between the title tag. This is what's going to show up when you open up the browser. Okay. It'll show up here. If you look at my, my mouse arrow, 
it'll show up here it'll it'll show my website one it'll show up here and it will show up in the actual um, the tab okay that's why you use that there and then in between the rest of these tag uh, in between the rest of the head tag you'll put your scripts here you'll put your JavaScript here you'll put your CSS here this is where you'll put the rest of that that way when you open up your website this will already be loaded by the time your website loads up okay now and once you make a change on your website you'll want to go ahead or on your web document your HTML document you'll want to go ahead and save it okay and the best way to save it is there are several ways you can go up to the file menu left click on file and choose save and that will save your last change you can also save changes to your document by using the keyboard shortcut control and then s so if you do a control s on your keyboard that will also save as you can see every time i hit the control and then the s button on my keyboard it does the save you should also if you look down at the bottom of the document follow my mouse go down to the bottom of the document and you'll see once I do control S it shows that it's saving there now you should be able to use those two techniques no matter which system you're using whether it's a Windows whether it's an Apple whether it's a Linux or whether it's um, Unix I for one I'm using uh, Linux Mint 18.2 so that's what I'm using for this so let's go over some more tags you have the body tag okay you have the opening of the body tag and if we scroll down you'll see the closing of the body tag and then we have the code in between that now this first code right here in the body this is for background you don't have to choose this you don't have to create this for a background but I did just in case you want to see how to go uh, save it to the back just in case you wanted to create a background for your website okay and so you have this right here this is the body tag this does not require a open and close tag this only requires the open tag and that's just with the uh, code command body background equals and then you use your attribute right here this is whatever saved document that you have for your uh, for your background. The one thing I will point out is, as I said in a previous video, you want to have your HTML document and your image document or whatever documents you are using for your uh, website. You want to keep all that in one folder. It just makes it easier so that you can reference it uh, a little better. Okay and then let's scroll down you'll have your your navigation this is your navigation section alright and this right here this is a comment this is an HTML comment and the way you choose you the way you create that you start with a less than sign and then you have the explanation and then you have line line and then you have and you close it with line line and then greater than sign alright so this is the less than sign this is the greater than sign and this is your uh, HTML document or your HTML comment HTML, HTML comments are commented out the browser does not see these they ignore them this is just like a note for the coder or the web dev developer so that they can see what section they're on, what code they're looking at, and these are sticky notes for the developer. These are sticky notes that remind you what you're doing. All right? And then you want to look at your the next tag. This is called a div tag. Okay? 
This is basically a way of containing your, your HTML code, okay? And it starts with a less than, and then it types in, you type in div space ID, and then you start with an equal sign, and then you put in your attribute, which is whatever name you want to name it. Now, as I said, with the div uh, tag, this is when you want to put all of your content in the same area, in the same place. Okay, so you start with this div tag and then you can end with, with a div tag. Anything that ends with a tag is going to be with a forward slash in front of it and then the tag name. Okay, now this is going to be for our navigation. And our navigation is going to be where we put in our links we went over that earlier this is where we put in our links and for our web page and as you can see I put in some example links here these are these do not exist this was just put in here for the tutorial all right and as we said earlier you start off with a, a href tag and then you put in your attribute and then you close your attribute then you put in your word however you want to describe your tag and then you close that uh, that link with the with the closing link tag all right and I apologize I know I'm skipping around a little bit the next tag I want to go over is the header tag or the head tag you have basically six of those they are h1 through h6 okay and then we have another tag which I'm going to call a nested tag which is a tag within a tag and this one controls the color of your fonts so this is your font color tag alright and it's just this tag right here font color equals and then you put in your attribute remember an attribute is anything after the equal sign in this case it's going to be yellow and then we typed in the name yellow uh, or navbar and then we closed it now your HTML browser will not see these these tags they should not see any of these tags okay they're just gonna see the content between the tags just want to let you know that if that was not obvious before okay and so that's your h1 and your font color tag alright well I think that's enough for today. I hope you stay tuned for our video series. We will have another video series. Um, and in the next one, that will be the next part uh, for HTML coding. Thank you very much. I appreciate you watching this video, and I hope you have a good day. Hope you like and subscribe as well. Bye-bye.